Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We've added a new tractor. We found this guy very used, but we really only need it for spraying and fertilizing. So uh, I needed a tractor with narrow wheels, so we just you know asked around at local farms, and we did find this one. And it was a pretty sweet deal at $14,000, just over $14,000. I said, okay, we'll take it. So it's actually newer than our Bureau, but it is still a vintage tractor. Uh, but this will do fine for doing our spraying and stuff on the fields, and that's what we needed it for as we expand. Uh, the beer we'll be using for our heavy work. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to think of what to do next. Really, we should probably get back up to the farm and we'll do some cow work. So I'll be right back. So our cows have a little bit of food. What we're going to do is we're going to get them lots of water first. That's my first step here. You can see there I bought a coon mixer. I think you guys were there for that, but maybe not. We did bring the extractor home. That's how we're going to make silage. So let's go ahead and get some water. Now, the nice thing is they did give us water on this farm. Uh, I also added tool kits and cleaning uh, stations to both our farm up here and the farm and the field farm so that we can fix and repair our tractors as needed. Oh, that's filling up. I think this is, yeah, that's where the water trough is. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, I'm going to hopefully expand to get more cows. We have 10 right now. I'd like to make that 20 here very soon. We have Actually, we probably should just do it now. Uh, but I want to get more food in there first. We'll get them up to 100%, and then we'll uh, buy more cows. And then we'll start putting in TMR. So... Actually, let's just wait on that. We're going to do it all at once. It's crazy how much food and water the cows take. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 10%. Just do, let's see. We got 10 of each of those. So we'll get straight brown and straight black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So that wasn't too, too bad. We still have $65,000 left to operate. Plus, we have, oops, if we need a loan, we, we can take them out. But I don't think we're going to need a loan, but we'll see. I wonder how long this takes to charge up. I wonder if it, like, you got to sit it there for a couple hours or um, if it just is an instantaneous charge. Probably instantaneous, the way that the gas works. We'll, we'll, we'll let the tractor run down a bit, and then we'll try it. that moo <laughs> all right so we're gonna leave oh no i think you had a is that full no <laughs> don't disconnect the water trailer while you're emptying it that's a lesson but we're gonna get we're gonna get sorry i just woke up came right down and started playing oh i gonna love that man's gotta play But while that is emptying out, we're going to grab some of these. Now, I'm going to have to use our uh, wagon as a shredder. But we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so. This should be done, and we're going to get some more water, because obviously it needs more. That's what I'm saying, like 20 cows, man. But here's the thing. Once you fill them up all the way, they don't require that much each day. So... But you have to get them full all the way.
And I have decided to keep the pickup just in case, so we didn't sell the pickup. I'm just going to hold on to that. Okay, there. So they're full now. I'm just going to park the water trailer in front of the cow the water pen. Seems like a good spot to keep it, right? Oh, okay, we're going to come over here. Now, this is not very realistic, but we need to make some silage. So we're going to do that the fake way. Uh, and this is called the extractor. For those of you that don't, don't know what it is or haven't seen it before, it's part of the Anderson kit. Uh, and it's a pretty cool device. We're going to need to put it where we have some space. Basically, it wraps bales into one long wrap, but then you can separate them out. A four. Oh, okay. Well, then we're getting into this and we're going to unfold it. There we go. And I think, where does they. Uh, we put the bales up at the top, is where I think they go. Can't remember. Been a while since we've used it. But you'll see what we do. And I, we've never used one of these before in one of our series, so I'm excited to actually have something new. Four of these would we'll be four and four. Now it should load in. I know this is not super realistic, but <laughs> no. Let's see, we need to see the operating keys. Start engine. Enter. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to need the poker versus the, because uh, these are getting used anyway, versus the nice mitts. With the poker. And those are here, the pokers. The grabby mitts are really for uh, um, when you're using um, silage, when you're trying to move silage bales around. I don't know why I bought those actually because we're not going to really need them because the silage. When we actually wrap silage, we'll be doing it like in a specific spot and then just leaving it there until it's time to move it. Once, you're, once it's time to move it in real life or to feed the cows, it doesn't really matter. So. It's there. Okay, so this is now loaded. Isn't that triggering? Let me see something really quick. Does that only do square? I thought it did both round and square. Extractor does round, and this is round and square. Yeah, it does does both. Hybrid extractor, yeah. Okay. Unfold bale wrapper. I don't think the engine needs to be running for it to fold, but maybe it does. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Uh, alright, let me, let's see. I'm gonna have to figure this one out because I don't, I don't know. I thought that you put the bail, no, so now it's getting stuck in the machine. Arg. Usually the machine reacts and like moves. Is there a bailing mode that you need to do? Full bail wrapper, toggle, max size, cheap. Stop it. No, huh. I'm thinking, I thought maybe you needed to like, change it over from squared to round, but it seems to detect that automatically if it detects. So, what we did... Oh, this is hay. Oh, we need grass. So, before we need... We're going to need eight grass bales uh, to match what we have as far as hay goes. So, we need to get that done. Um, yeah, darn. Okay, that's why it wasn't working. So, let's go ahead... I want a Ted. Do we have a windrower? We do have a windrower. Okay. So, let's see. Um, turn this off. Alright, so here's... That, the reason why that didn't work is because I was trying to... I didn't realize those were hay bales. I thought they were grass bales, but... I should have known better. Uh, anyway... <laughs> So we're gonna get the little guy going here, and we're gonna go out and mow and Ted. Oops. Now I do have a mower, don't I? Or don't I? I don't have a mowing deck, maybe. Oh. So we're gonna have to mow by hand, which is fine. The mow, the hand, the hand mower is pretty quick, actually. We'll be able to get eight bales look at these split. But I thought I had a front-loading mower, a front-loaded mower, mower. I do. Okay. It's on the front of this. Now, once Moni joins me, when this DLC is available, um, she will be able to uh, help me out. So maybe she can run the tractor with the mower, and then I'll run the the, hit, the push behind her. We'll get mass mowing done. All right, we can put this menu away. Whoops, <laughs> F1. That's what I meant to do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unfold the mower. And we're going to unfold the tether. And this tether, or this uh, windrower, wind I meant, it pushes it to the right, so we want to go the other way. We're going to start over here. I just love the grass on this new map. Uh, it's really, like, lush. It's beautiful. Luxurious. Like cashmere. Oh Lord, we're pushing the limits of the electric tractor. Is 11 really the full speed we can go? Looks like it. Maybe this was not enough power to do this. We have to mow and then windrow separately. <laughs> The hand walking mower is faster than this. Oh, this is painful. <sighs> oh. So we'll take the hint. Uh, we can probably turn this off. If we just do mowing, we should be fine. And so we'll come back and windrow once we're finished. See, much better, yeah. This tractor just wasn't meant to handle the the uh, the heavy burden the heavy burden of mowing and uh, wind drawing at the same time with the little fifty horsepower. And that's okay. Sorry we pushed you too hard, little rigid track. Uh, at some point we probably could use to you know an upgrade to the seventy five. See, this is still cutting. I'd like to get that little, actually, the little mowing machine, like the, you know what I'm talking about, like the, well, no, you probably don't. There's a, there are special mountain mowers that they have um, that basically are designed just for doing this. 
and they can windrow and mow at the same time. And so we may get one of those. We'll see. But it's also 60000 bucks, so I'm not going to spend the money on that right now. But if we do, if we, if we do like six or seven rows, we should have enough for eight bales. This a little bit for a moment. I really like this little mower. It is cute as pie. I'll tell you what, man, this map. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, it looks just like but it really is much more stunning looking than Fellsburg. And it kind of brings me back to why I liked Farm Sim in the first place, like back in Farm Sim 15. It has it's just very colorful, uh, and I don't Maybe it's because I am a big kid, but I like that. I like that it makes it like a happy place to be. Uh, whereas it seems like with 19, a lot of the maps just look washed out. Uh, this one kind of retains its color. I noticed that too about Bjornholm. Somebody uh, did a remake of Bjornholm, and it's really good. Like, I really like it, and I've been playing on it. Uh, I have a little farm going on Bjornholm. Because, like, I like to play when I'm not recording. I need just quiet time, you know, or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's still having a little bit of a struggle. But with that windrower off, it's going a lot faster. So. But I have a little hobby farm on there, so. Uh. Sweet. New, sounds like new bird sounds. Um, but, yeah, so I, there are people that aren't going to, and this, you're, you can't please everyone, I know that. So there are people already. I've, I had a couple comments on the review that I did where they're like, uh, nothing new. And I'm like, what? you got articulated tractors. you got the first electric tractor with an electric charging station. you got, you know, all kinds of, uh, like, it's the first time we've had a modular truck that's actually from the game. Now, we have had modular trucks before, but they're from mods. First mountain mowing mower. <laughs> new map. I'm like, what do you mean there's nothing new? There's like a bunch of new stuff. Like, what? <laughs> but I, I'm sure they're talking, they want new animals or new crops. But Giants does give us new. I mean, horses were new with 19. Uh, it's not the same old, same old, though. But it, I, I get it. I mean, like the equipment, it's not like groundbreaking. But Oh, arti yeah, first articulated tractors. Got a new tractor brand. Uh, just there's a lot of new stuff. But whatever. It, everybody's got a limit of what they're willing to pay. You know what I mean? Like, and what they're willing to pay for. And I think that, once again, I like I, the way that I look at it, the way I looked at this, uh, and, I'm, and I'm glad they came through. Once again, Giants is, they are located in Switzerland. And so, you know, we, as, an, as Americans, we're always like, where's the American maps? And they don't understand America. And they don't. And they don't. They really don't. Uh, and that's not a criticism towards them because they're, they shouldn't. They're, they're Swiss. And just like I can't understand what it's like to be Swiss, they can't really understand what it's like to be an American. And what it's like to be in America. And what it's like to be a farmer in America. And how, if you haven't lived it, you've seen pictures of it. Uh, and I think what they do is instead of actually going where, you know, American farmers actually farm, which is boring looking, let's face it. I mean, how exciting is central Indiana or the middle of Ohio or, you know, I've been there. I live there. It's flat. There's like really big, long hills, but that's about it. There's nothing exciting to see or do. It's just fields. And so they... You know, whenever they've made their maps for America, they've always strayed away from the American look. They go for that, like, oh, let's do a map in California because there's hit mountains in California. There is farming in California. Mostly it's orchards and wineries. It's not usually, you know, like crop farming, but there are some crop farms in, in Florida. Not Florida, I mean uh, California. So, and there's also you know, orange farms and orange groves in Florida. So they don't pick places that are, um, or they go Colorado, because, yeah, there is crop farming in Colorado, though not much. They make hay, pretty much, because 
Colorado is really dry. Uh, I have a, you know, we have Kyle, of course, that lives there, and he's, you know, he farms alpacas and, and uh, also does hay, uh, though I think he's given up. He had goats for a while, and I think he gave the goat business up. But anyway, he does stuff with animals is what I'm getting at. And um, he, uh, you know, it's very difficult for them because it's very dry. They have to rely on one river that they're allowed to take water from once a year. And you pay through the nose for that water. And, you know, unfortunately, it's, you know, it's become a actually a, a, a political issue there because certain... Uh, government entities make it harder and more expensive. I won't say who, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, for the farmers to actually get the water, um, and they have they have the pound to pay through the nose and can't even afford it, so they have to wait for natural rainwater and meltwater from the mountains if they can't afford the water. And uh, anyway, it's a it's a mess. Uh, so there aren't a lot of farms in Colorado that are actually farm farms. There are some, but you know. They need irrigation to work. Uh, so, the Giants picked Colorado, though, because it's pretty. And so, we made Goldcrest. And that was Goldcrest Valley, it was Colorado, supposed to be. Or, or maybe Oregon. But I think they said specifically Colorado, which it, it does look like Colorado. Um, but it could also be Montana or Wyoming. It, it has a, that feel, uh, just in general. <sighs> But I think that's why Giants, you know, Giants doesn't go to Ohio or Kentucky or, you know, because they're, yeah, Kentucky's a little bit more hilly, but in general, they're just flat and boring. And so they're kind of, I think they're afraid that if they do that, people just won't like the maps. So they just let the mod makers handle that. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. The good news is we do have a nice modding community. But anyway, my point was this. This, I knew this map was going to be good because... Here we are on, you know, Giants' home turf. They are from uh, Sweden. They're used to, you know, or from Switzerland, I mean. They're used to Swiss farming. And so I figured this this map was going to be absolutely exactly, you know, what we were hoping it would be in a Swiss map. And it has been. I, I'm really impressed with this map. And I, I, I feel like there's a lot of care and detail that went into this map that... Um, have taken it over and above the other FS19 maps that I've played. So, anyway, that's my two cents. But I know there's going to be people out there that don't like it. There's a, it, every, there's two there's two sides to every coin, and I know there's two sides to every argument. Um, there's just people that aren't going to feel like it's worth it. And aren't going to spend the cash. So that's whatever. I personally am happy that this came out, and you know if. If I had to buy it, in fact, I'm going to have to buy it because Moni needs a copy, so we're going to end up buying it for her. But she's been pretty, you know, eh, on the, on the DLCs that have come out, you know, recently. And when she saw this one, she's, I could tell she's like, oh, that's, that's nice. You, know, you could tell she was looking at it, like, interested. Now, once again, this would be another good farm. You know, we haven't done a lot of horse stuff in my channel, but this would be another good farm to have a horse, you know, farm. So we'll see how we do financially. I think we broke the bank right now. We're going to need to uh, feed our cows up to 100%, and then any excess grass needs to go to silage. We're going to mow the rest of the property and get uh, silage bales and sell them at the local barn and make a little bit of money. They're not worth a ton of money, but they're money. That's our crop. So, And the nice thing is it's renewable. We don't have to really you know, do anything to these fields to make them pretty. Uh, we can just keep mowing them and selling them stuff from them, so. But I wonder if we can. <laughs> I don't think we can make silage bales now that I think about it with the extractor. Uh-oh. Uh, we can sell silage at the biogas plant, but dang it. We'll figure it out. I mean, we could try to sell the worm of bales. I don't know if the I don't know if uh, so if we cut them open, we could sell them like that. So we'll see. Well, we'll I'll get it all figured out. That's that's for me to worry about. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Uh, we'll figure it out.
We'll get it sorted, as they say here. I probably could have left this pile because it was already just a single wood row. <laughs> oh well. All right, so that was fun. We made some strips of grass. Once again, we own all this up to the road. Um, it's really not that much grass, actually. We go here, own here, and then up. Oh, we own this too. Okay, Whew. I think. Yeah. Anything within this Fiat Meadow that's inside that loop of road, uh, we own all of this. So we got tons of grass. Yeah, really. There's a bunch. So we could spend all day working on this. And we got to use up some of the fuel in that, so that's cool. We'll run it down and see what happens. What am I going to do? I need to run the baler, and so we'll grab our tractor. I think this tractor is honestly heavy enough to pick up the... Oh, wrong implement. Boop. Oh, come on, Arnie. It's so... I gotta get used to the all-wheel steering, man. It's like all new. So once again, I wonder what it is about pot gear that makes it, like, cost double, not double, but, like, 25% more than the New Holland. It definitely looks beefier. Um, oh, yeah. It's the old, I haven't done these in a while. I wish it would dump it on its side. That's going to be kind of a headache. We got to make sure that we mow when we mow. We mow back and forth across the field and not uh, up and down the mountain. Otherwise, we're going to have the bales rolling all over the country. Bales from the south of Switzerland to the north. That's one bale. We need eight, or we should have eight. Eh, we could do four also. Four wouldn't be bad because. Uh, You need one of for every two of something, so six bales, eight bales, whatever, four bales. If we get four on that, we'll probably get it. Oops, sorry. Plop. Stop here. Got to get the bale to settle. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe maybe we're only working on three here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get four. I'm at the most some more. Yeah, we should be able to get four. So we'll make our TMR. We'll be uh, two silage and one hay. Or, uh, two, one silage. Wait. Two. One silage and two hay. That's what I was say. Now, with the mixer that we bought, there isn't. It only holds three bales, so you can't do unless you do loose hay. You can't do. I mean, straw. It doesn't do straw, so. It's a bit of a bummer, but I 
Come up to our fourth bale. So now we kind of know the numbers too for these fields uh, as far as like how much space I need. This, what I mowed really was about four. Each line is about a bale. And a little bit of extra left over. Okay, same same result. All right, so now we're gonna grab this guy. And put this down for that for now. We'll, we'll, we'll restrap it. What? I wish you could only fold down. I wish you could fold on one side without folding them both down. Could do it like that, maybe. All right. Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. <laughs> now, you get the thrill as Arthur does his bail handling skills, which are not. And when I say not, I mean zero. Not, not, like. <laughs> say, that wasn't bad. Oh my God, these aren't gonna fit. I thought that trailer was a little larger than I, it actually is. Uh, yeah. The Zummer. I wonder if you can get four of them on here. Uh, we'll try. If I do this, maybe make it a, a platform. I don't think in real life that those have any like tensile strength. I think they just flip down and flip up. I don't think they do. It will make the cart a little wider. <laughs> as real as it get. Realism is key. Uh, I'm not cheating at all. What are you talking about? this work it looks like it's gonna good bon c'est bon <laughs> I mean in real life you'd probably just flip down I don't think they're holding it up, but they probably are actually with this way that the physics in this game work. You know, they're straight, buddy. There we go. All right. Shove that little man. Shove it down. There we go. <laughs> Looking good. All right. Not going to go anywhere fast. That's pretty. That's pretty good, though. It's not bad. Now, I might take the three-point hitch off of this trailer because then we can pull our little wagon, too. So when we do more bales, we can actually get eight. We can even double pile this and put two more in the middle and get, like, like six on this. And I don't know how much that trailer will hold, but it will hold some. 
I don't even know if this tractor can, or this uh, truck can pull the trailer. I guess we'll find out later. This can pull some of the trailers and not some of the others. So, all right, so there's that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and load the next tractor up. So that was, I'd say, a pretty swimming success. In about 15 minutes, we made silage bales. Well, we made the bales to get through silage. And so I might make more silage off camera. We'll see. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get these cows fed, so let's do that next. Um, I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to put this out here. We're gonna need to move all this stuff to get it away. Uh, and we need the little tractor, but not quite yet. Okay, so we should see this lovingly grasp the bale. Yeah, see now, see how it's lovingly grasping it? There we go. Oh, much better. Now it's feeding. That's what we wanted to do. So that is our bale wrapper making silage. I don't remember what exactly you can do with these, but I'm thinking if you can cut them up into halves or something. I'm trying to figure out how to sell these. Maybe we can just cut them all open and then sell them that way. But. So I think the system will work well for our farm. We can store them in nice long bale snakes. And uh, we do this in Ohio where I live. They do this all the time. Uh, and you see there are extractors and other devices that do this out there. And you see this pretty frequently. That's it. Ta-da! <laughs> How cool is that? Oops. I'm going to flatten this. Just so it's back where it should be. That looks nice. What? Oh, we're going backwards. That's right. Shh. <laughs> Steering issues. <laughs> okay, this will go right about here. It's not quite good, but there we go. That's where I wanted it. Okay, so uh, now we can put our bailer away. I'm hoping that the truck, and we'll, have to, we'll test this out real quick. 
I'm hoping that the truck can take the trailer. You'll see what I mean. We'll modify the truck and see if it'll work. All right, there we go. Drop that there. And hop into this guy. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore. Oh. I'm busy trying to find the menu and driving off the road. Okay, so we're going to pull over here. And what I've done is I've put a toolkit over here for this express purpose. Get rid of the, uh, yeah, platform only is what I wanted. Okay. And what that does is that gets rid of the three-point hitch. We can put it back on at any time. But I'm hoping that this can pull that trailer. It may not be able to, but if it can, we can actually carry another set of bales next time we go bailing. So can we do it? Nada. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. I can't take this trailer. <laughs> That's so stupid. Ugh. So we might as well put the three-point back on because uh, that's the only trailer I have. If it doesn't work well, it could work with the tipper too, though. And we did that last time, so we'll just leave it off for now. Uh, I'm going to park this truck. And we're going to bring the rigid track back in. The electric tractor. Yeah, so we own all that field up there too, the meadow. This is all of our grass working tools. And we'll pop that right here. Whoops. And we'll pop the mower around here somewhere. Now, I thought this tractor was all-wheel steering, too, but it's not. Of all of the tractors that are and aren't, this one's not, so. All right, hold on one second, folks. Send in the cows. Where are the cows? My freaking drunken neighbor keeps knocking on the door. I went over there, and he had gone back in. Now he's knocking again. I'm just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not answering. Dumb jerk. <laughs> All right, so we have silage. I know you can cut these. Um, I don't remember. Let's see. Where's the menu? We can look at this. Yeah, so you can't cut them apart. A spark. But you can cut the bales. I guess an R doing that. Yep. And then they're individual bales. So once they become silage, you can do them this way. Look at all that fluffy silage. And then you can sell the bales individually like that. That's how we're going to have to do it. Um, it's a weird way to do it, but... We're so used to selling just the whole wrapper and everything, but in real life, I don't think they'd want the wrapper at the wherever the facility that we take these, wherever that is. <laughs> Making stuff up. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our mix and feed the cows. 
and then we're going to go ahead and start working on that field and getting them turned around. So this episode, we'll finish up with feeding them cows. It's going to be, we're going to need two hay and one silage, and that should get us uh, total mixed ration. So we'll put that in there. Magically, that turns into hay. And we'll throw one of these in for good measure. for good measure. And there we go. So that's total mixed ration right there. I really wish I wouldn't have put the bales in front of the... <coughs> Just leave this running because it's electric. So we have our first load of TMR that goes to the cows. And that will get them 100% milk production, or close to it. Uh, and then we'll add, actually, 90%, and then the straw will make it 100. Um, why can't I dump this here? Does it go on the other side? Maybe it comes out the other side. Uh, I think it comes out the other side. So we got to make a Yui. Fed to the cows, which is good stuff. They'll probably take all of the bales that we have and still not only be, it'll still be like 20% full because we're going to need to make a lot of this stuff for them, which will be easy because we have lots of grass available. So. flies in my house they're making me nuts I keep landing on my head get out so we could come in through the silage pit and go because I'm trying to figure out the best route <laughs> without having to like making u-turns every time I come in there so this time we're going to pull the cart this way Let's see if this works better Making cow food is always a blast. Especially when you do the bale method. Now, did you know you can also use your TMR mixer as a bale shredder? So if you need to shred hay and put it into the cow pen, you can, or I mean straw, uh, you can use the, your mixer. However, the mixer has to be empty to do it. So, um, well, to get to that point, but <laughs> I think the cows are going to eat every single last bit of this, and then we'll put the straw in. So, just remember, whenever you have an empty TMR mixer, only put one bale in at a time, and then you can use it as a straw mixer, and you know, put one bale in, shred it. Give it to the cows. One more bale in, shred it, give it to the cows. Uh, and then when you're done, if there's a little bit left over, just leave it in there, and then you can put it in with the rest of your mix when you make TMR. Because you can have straw in TMR. Most of the larger uh, mixing wagons, you can put, you know, four bales in. So you put one straw, two hay, and one silage, or, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um, and... You could use straw as filler for your cows, but with this smaller mixer, it's really it, it doesn't balance right. So you have to have just a little teeny bit of hay to put in. Um, so we just end up I just end up skipping it, and not using it as filler. So we use more grass that way, but you no, know, it's it's it, especially on this farm, it's really easy to get. So.
No, we need straw making crops. I don't... I mean, I'll probably... I could do oats. I might... I don't think I'm going to save them, though, yet, because we don't... It's going to be a while before we can afford horses. We need to get some crop moving on that field uh, for sales. So we might do oats for a while, wheat, barley, any kind of straw-producing crops, because we need the straw for the cows, but we'll sell the crop off for now. Um... In fact, I might even do what I do a lot, on a lot of my personal farms because we have a bunch of crops in the silo. Uh, I grow one of each kind. Now, that means we're going to have to lease a, a planter because I, I can do all the crops that the cedar does, but I don't... We're going to have to... Uh, for a couple... like for We did sunflower already, but for corn, uh, we're going to have to do... Uh, I'll have to rent a planter. But that's okay because it's only like a couple hundred bucks. Um, we'll rent a planter and do that. So... We'll go through each crop and then sell off what we have and get a full crop of each thing or more. All right, I would say today was a big success. Uh, after this next round, we'll have cows that are full. And we'll be happy with that. Or not full, but f they'll be fed at least. I wonder when this is going to change color to silage color. Now let's take a look at our window to see how we're doing. Um, so if we go to the help window... Uh, that'll tell us how the freaking cows are doing. Uh, they have, yeah, with this third section, we'll be about halfway full. So we do need to make some more, but we can do that. That's not a rush. Weirdly, they have pellets still. That's bizarre, but okay. <laughs> Straw pellets. Uh, grass is good. And really, when the cows eat, they really only eat this. I don't think you have to, from what I've learned, um, these don't get used while you have total mix ration. So, but their productivity is going to go up to 100% here soon, so don't worry. All right, so they've got that load. So we need about 10 bales to feed them for a week, it looks like. Or 10 hay bales and uh, five mixed, eh, maybe more. For week, per week, though, so it's really not that bad. We'll definitely generate that. For some reason, this just looks like a hairy coconut veil. that. Maybe one more. Ta-da! So this portion's almost done, but hang on one second, folks. All right. I missed my turn. Now, I think these cows are going to take at least two straw bales, so I'm going to go ahead and put two bales in here when we're done doing this, and you'll see how this works. But it actually, because sh it shreds the bales, it actually works as a bale shredder. You don't have to buy, like, the Warzies or any of the purpose-built bale shredders. You can just use this. It saves you some money. Now, the war it more it's probably more realistic to use a Warzy, and the Warzies are not that expensive. Hmm. And they're meant for round bales. Um, but 
Yeah, I think maybe maybe we'll pick one up because the Warzy is only like a thousand bucks. I'd like to keep it realistic if possible. Not that everything I do is like, terribly realistic, but uh, I could do that. We'll do it. What the heck? All right, so we're done feeding the cows. They're all set. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I don't know where. That's not going to be a good storage place for bales, and so we're going to have to figure out something for that, too. I'm going to actually put this over here. Sailing into the shed. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I really am. <laughs> I'm all right. So we're going to park the little rigid track right here. Me. Okay. I mean, maybe we could. I'm trying to think of how we'd do this. I'm going to have to load all those bales back in there. This is a pain. I'm using the shed as a pain. For, I wish we had a better shed for bales. Or a second shed for me, so the equipment's not like mixed in. This is all the equipment we have, really, though. So I suppose we could do this. I'm gonna move this away. Ta-da! <laughs> we. That was impressive. I impressed myself. <laughs> Such a jerk. Okay, so we're going to put this here. Like right there. All right, good. And we're just going to run real quick down to the shop and pick up a War Z. I'm going to sell these forks because we get a set of forks with the War Z. If you're like, what is the War Z? What is this War Z thing he keeps talking about? Well, you guys probably have played with cows before, but this is a bale shredder, and you'll see. It, they have one for tractors. One for telehandlers, and I think it might be one for a front loader, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just a it's just a bale shredder, it's nothing crazy. I remember when they came out with four wheel steering for automobiles. There was a couple cars in the nineteen eighties that had it, and I think people just found it like way too hard to operate, and they just so they ended up not continuing it. <laughs> but what the car would do is when you made it like a light turn, like to switch lanes, both sets of wheels would go left or right. And then when you went to do a full turn, the back wheels would swap and do what this tractor does. Uh, and so I forget, it was either Toyota or Mercedes. I can't remember who. I think it probably was Mercedes that tried it out. And Lexus maybe. Like there were a couple car ca cars that, were, that had it, and then they just kind of dropped it. Nobody wanted it. Maybe too expensive to maintain, you know, because you're. All right, so this is for, let's see, front loader. That's the one we want. This is for a telehandler, I think. Yeah, it's for the telehandlers or the skid steers. This is the one that we want. So it says it'll say FL. See that? Okay, so that's what we want. And you'll see this actually has a set of forks inside it and that you can release. So you'll see it's two units when we pick it up. Look at the front arms. You'll see three units on the front now. Boop. And I can drop that, pull these out. We have forks. Or we can have the woozy on. Pretty heavy thing. But it's designed for round bales, and that's what we're using. So we might as well just use it. Be done with it. Wait, did I go the right way? Yeah, I did. I'm starting to get the hang of getting from the shop to the house without getting lost. And the nice thing is the farm is pretty close. Even though it seems like it's a far way away, it's pretty dang close. Like, there's our farm off to the left there. That's our, oops, our silo. Whoa. Donk. So 
So we'll do the straw bales and we'll call this an episode. You've had two nice, really long episodes. I, I don't know if they're... It seems like I've been doing hour episodes lately, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I think people like the longer episodes. I don't know. Who knows? All I know is my channel likes are going way down. I'm like, eh, this is not good. Not the likes, but the view time and stuff. Like, we're, we're way down this month. But it could be because of the elections. I think everybody was like, for the last week, they've been rapidly watching the election process, if you can call it that, the election farce. Uh, all right, that's not gonna work. Dig it in. Oops, slip. It went right on. I don't know that I'll ever get that off. <laughs> okay, so here's how this works. We pop this in here. Now the nice thing about this spreader is that it can go on any direction. So let me get that off. Drop in there. Oh, perfect. So right now it's gonna spray to the left if we're looking at it. But you can also connect the you can connect it on all three sides. So if I want to do it this way, I can. If I want to go on the other side and do it, I can. You can see we're at the weight limit. We a heavier weight in the back of the tractor. This is really... Whoa. <laughs> Keeping it low. Oh, man. I'm going to have to buy a bigger weight. I didn't realize this was going to be so big for this tractor. See that? Then it shreds the bale up. I wish the bale would get smaller in there. It doesn't. It just stays the same size. There are mods, I think, that allow you to do that. But they'll actually change size as it gets eaten. But uh, looks like we're going to need a couple more of these. So Are you happy, cows? Oh, they're full. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> oh, I'm mistaken. Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Sorry, can't help it. Bad songs by bad singers. this over. I'm trying to... Ah, it's stuck on the other bale. I want to get them to roll so that I can pick them up nice and neat, but it's not going to happen. So just side poke. Good enough. There we go. Oh, that's a... It didn't go in right. <laughs> they never do. Oh, uh, they usually do, actually. I just... Bad driving on my part. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I don't know how many bales this is going to take, but... I can always check in our menu, actually. Boop. Uh, whoa. 7,000. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more. It might take several of these bales, which is why we need to make a crop, crops that yield uh, straw for the first three crops anyway. So we'll go ahead and do oats next on that field, and we'll get some straw out of that. So I'm going to keep doing this process. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it. Uh, so I'm glad that you guys are here. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Like I said, this is going to continue on probably until Farm Sim 21 comes out. So uh, definitely this one, Kloss Farm, uh, Bucks County. We're going to be continuing those. My wife's going to join me. We also have another one that we're doing with Mr. Micah. I'd like to get that going again. Um, so I'll get back to the States. 
Achoo. Allergies. And with that, we say goodnight. Achoo. Have a good night, guys. See you next time. Bye.